Well, it appears things are still up in the air at Marvel as it pertains to Jonathan Majors continuing as uh, King the Conqueror. Uh, with, with his ongoing legal troubles, um, Marvel's been radio silent as far as what's going to go on with Kang. Um, I do know that there was a report last week that we will find out at the end of Loki Season 2 what Jonathan Major's fate is as far as continuing to play Kang. Or if Kang's even going to continue to be the big bad for what is uh, MCU Phase 5. So, this little article right here at comicbookmovie.com. Marvel Studios didn't always plan on Kang being focus of multiverse saga. Jonathan Major's future, unclear. According to an insider, Marvel Studios didn't always plan on making Kang the Conqueror the multiverse's saga's big bad. But it was Jonathan Majors who changed things. However, his MCU future remains uncertain. In Loki Season 1 finale, we were introduced to Jonathan Majors. He who remains, it quickly became apparent that he was a Kang variant. With Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania introducing us, all too briefly, to the Conqueror version of the villain, it's obvious Kang is being lined up as the multiverse saga's big bad, though there are some questions about how that will work with Jonathan Major's ongoing legal issues. A recast is possible, as is a return, should the actor clear his name, but it appears Marvel Studios didn't always plan on using this villain as the focal point of the saga. Then why would you announce the Avengers King Dynasty? Just say it. Speaking on The Ringers, the Big Picture podcast, author Joanna Robinson, MCU, the reign of Marvel Studios, shared some of what she's heard about plans, about how plans change in the wake of Avengers Endgame. I was told by someone who works for Marvel, it was not the plan to make King the center of everything until they saw the dailies from Quantumania and after his performance in Loki. She explains which was so strong they were like, this is it. This is our way forward. We've lost our varsity hero team, but let's set up around this guy Kang and this performer so that many people are reacting to. As well as pinning this book, Robinson previously wrote for Vanity Fair, she'd go on to make a case for why Marvel Studios might have made a mistake by putting all of its eggs in one basket after creating an entire slate of projects around one actor and character. That wouldn't usually be too much of a problem, of course, but it somewhat backfired in this instance due to Major's ongoing... Major's going from Hollywood's biggest up-and-coming star to one of its most controversial. On that note, Robinson says... That has put them in a bind. We do not know what they are going to do. I've heard conflicting stories about they are going to replace him. They're not even considering replacing him. We're guessing it would all boil down to what happens when Majors gets his day in court. Though there have already been rumblings about Marvel Studios putting a plan in place to move on from his interpretation of Kang in Loki Season 2. Perhaps it's there we'll meet whoever was originally going to be the saga's main antagonist. So, there you have it. They still don't know. So, share your opinion. Comment down below. Uh, if you would, please smash that like button. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content is uploaded here on a daily basis to YouTube. You can also catch me over on Rumble and over on Odyssey. And as always, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you later.